welcome and welcome back to the channel guys yes y'all see this one of my favorites it's a pt cruiser now it was towed in uh no start no crank i think they say so uh well the hood is up i think they told me the key was in it i don't know if the tow truck did this uh left it like this or what let's see nothing absolutely nothing everything's dead all right guys uh what do you do when this happens uh <laughs> naturally you have to go under the hood because we have to find out this reason for the electrical system loss all right we have nothing the key is in the on position let me see something yeah remotes or alarm or anything so it's totally powered down so at this point guys we need to gain access to the uh, parts that's con that's uh responsible for supplying the electrical system to the car and that is -da, the battery all right guys let's uh find oh, another broken bent hood prop <laughs> for the life of me i don't know how that happens guys but the battery is the battery dead i don't know let's see you can't look at a battery and tell it's dead i know it's not locked down in place so i might have to go get my jump box to jump the thing jump it off all right oh whoa where is this what year is this it's 06 which means it has a tip on wait a minute Let me get this out the way. Yeah, it's car. It's a second generation Gen Two. Where is my? Hold on, guys. Come on, baby. Here's my tip. Em. It's both this wire. One goes to the starter, and one goes to the tip. Em. Uh oh. Where? Oh shit! Snap! My bad. I'm monetized. I gotta watch my language. Okay. So the power supply to the tipum has been temporarily disrupted. Let me see if I tap this. Okay, so the battery is not dead. Y'all hear that? I have no power going to the electrical system, and this wire is responsible for carrying. The 12 volt supply to the tip of which powers up all the fuses, like guys. So that's why nothing works. How did this happen? As y'all know, the positive side of the battery terminal, it's just broke. It goes right here. Actually, first of all, they got it turned the wrong way. I mean, it should be like this at a 90 degree angle. All right, guys. <laughs> I see a problem right here. So. In order to, y'all know I hate pushing cars into the shop, so I'm gonna temporarily make this connection so I can start this car and get it in the shop. So let me go to, ooh, this one here about the, you see that? Man, these, are these rusted out? They just brittle and old. It's an 06 model. All right, guys, let me take an ad break. When I get back, I'm gonna temporarily connect this to the power supply so I can crank this car and get it in the shop. All right, so I'm gonna go to ad break. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for staying tuned. All right. I want to try to prevent from having to make a trip into the shop. Way back, walking back into the shop. So let me try to make a temporary, temporary connection. Uh, would that work? I heard the supply come back. Let me see if I got some juice. Uh-oh. I hope it's strong enough. Whoa, 244. All right, let's see some. Uh-oh, my bell. Hey. All right, guys, I got to hurry up and get into the shop while it's running uh, because I know where I'm at, so I know what I got going on. As far as the no start, no crank, uh, as far as that's concerned, I can see, visually see why, okay? Now, as far as uh, why it's broke or why it's broken, <laughs> that's the part 
I don't have a crystal ball and that's the part I don't know. I hate when people ask me, well, why did it break? Why is it broken? Unless it's something obvious like the engine is flexing up. You know, when you step on the gas, the engine have a tendency to go upward because, uh, say, a motor mount is broken or anything like this. Anything like that. Unless it's something obvious like that. Because a lot of your ground strap guys can break or fail or come loose because there's too much motion in your engine. Just say, for instance, you exhale or desail. If your engine doing this, a lot of stuff can come apart. I've seen radiator hoses pop off, come off, literally rip in the tube because, uh, what's car Pacifica, because uh, the engine is moving too much. All right, so yes, things like that can cause that to break. Other than that, it's just old, brittle, and uh, you know, time to go. I mean, everything has a lifespan to it, people. Um. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to dwell, get too deep off into why the cable broke or why the connection broke. I hope the customer don't ask me that. I just know I'm going to need a power supply wire and the tip them to the... And I'm going to have to replace all of this because this is, looks like this is going to be next. The battery looks fairly new. They look like it's got this from uh, Advanced Auto. Auto Crash. That's, that's where I get all my Auto Crash stuff. But I'm going uh, to essentially recommend positive positive cable negative cable this transfer bracket should be all right because this part right here that's broken actually comes from this this cable here all right and i'm going to check the condition of the tipping all right so let me pile all this back up i don't want to disturb that so i'm going to put this in the car and you will have a check engine light on because the air intake sensor is unplugged you can easily simply erase that when you uh when you're done you know all right, so guys, I'm going to try to hurry up and get this car in the shop before that connection comes loose. So uh, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll go to another break. I will be right back. guys so welcome back thanks for staying tuned thanks for staying with me now as you can see i ended up i went ahead and replaced the uh, line from the tip -on to the battery it was broken and i ended up going i went ahead and put on some new uh, battery terminals so this is the way it's supposed to look now they had a hard time coming up with this part right here from uh from the parts department so essentially i have some uh uh this will work off any car, any PT Cruiser, so I end up getting one off my old PT Cruiser outside. Only if it's 06 and up, Gen 2 stuff. All right, so new battery terminals, and uh, this is what's most important, the transfer uh, retainer thingy right here. That's most important, because you gotta be able to transfer 12 volts to the tip of them to allow you to have power. All right, so I got it up and running, guys. That's all I have. All right, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah,